Hey developers, today we are looking at a really cool course. Now I know a lot of you guys like the Udemy reviews that I do, so I thought I'd go ahead and do another one. And this is for modern JavaScript from the beginning by the great Brad Traversy. He has a really popular YouTube channel. So I thought I would show you guys his course, talk about what you should expect if you get it, and also tell you about some other really cool things about it. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of a few books. And if you guys like React, if you guys like Vue.js especially, and if you like JavaScript, make sure you click that subscribe button and also leave a comment below if you've taken this course. I'd love to hear your guys' experience with it. And so yeah, let's begin. So this is the modern JavaScript from the beginning course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and riff on this for about five, 10 minutes and make sure uh, if you're interested in this course, I'll put a link in the description. Just make sure you click on that link. And if you do, you help support the channel and you help support Brad too. So you help both of us, that's really appreciated. And by the way, this course, uh, as of this recording, they have a sale where I believe it's $11.99 for some of the, some courses, some are up to like $13.99. So if, as long as you click on the link in the description, I believe you'll get the cheaper course either. I think it's like 12 or $13. Every now and then uh, course sales go down to like 10 or $11, but it's a pretty good deal. And also if you are a first time Udemy, if you've never signed up for Udemy in, before in the past and you sign up for the first time, then I believe you even get a bigger discount. So I just wanna say that, make sure you use the link below and you can see all those different discounts. So this one is probably Brad's probably most popular course. It has over 18,000 ratings. It's a 4.7 out of five. It has 62,000 students enrolled. If you don't know Brad, he has a YouTube channel called uh, Traversy Media. It goes over tons of JavaScript, sort of like this channel, but much broader, has much more different topics. And uh, he's a really good teacher. So definitely check out his channel. So uh, we're gonna stick with this course though. And so the, the, what you'll learn in this course is modern learning sections, 10 real world projects, uh, pure JavaScript. You learn asynchronous program with Ajax, JavaScript patterns, master the DOM, OOP, uh, regular expressions, error handling. So it's all done in this ES6 syntax. It's uh, really easy to get started with it. It's 21 and a half hours of on-demand video, which is incredible. It's just a ton of information. This is definitely one of the bedrock courses I think Brad has put out there since it's so many hours. It's two articles, tons of downloadable resources. Uh, you get full lifetime access. And it also it was updated in a December of 2019 last, but I know he updates this uh, occasionally. It's been out for a couple of years now, but he's been definitely uh, keeping up and updating. And it also has subtitles in English and Indonesia and Italian, Portuguese, and Spanish, for those of you who like subtitles. So let's just jump into the course. I'm just gonna kind of look at what it offers. I went ahead and spent a little bit of time just looking over the different sections to see what you get um, when you start. So I can't obviously play this video for you, but I thought I would just show you a couple of bookmarks I added in here. For the f so first, during this course, you see here the first one, you're going to create uh, you're going to learn a lot of different topics. So basics and fundamentals, DOM manipulation, and it doesn't use jQuery. So sometimes when you find these older JavaScript courses, they still use jQuery. You know, Brad has nixed that from his curriculum. So you don't do that. And also this is, this course is uh, framework free. In other words, or framework or library free. You're not going to learn React. You're not going to learn Vue. You're not going to learn Angular. So he actually use, creates these projects using plain JavaScript. And if you don't know how to create a project in plain JavaScript, with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is a great course to take because it just kind of goes over those fundamentals that you should really know. And then when you know those fundamentals, then it's perfect time to jump into uh, to a course or jump into something where you're using these frameworks. So you can hear, so here's a couple of things you're gonna be learning. JavaScript patterns is pretty neat. I've reviewed a lot of these courses in the past and I've never seen I don't see too many people looking at JavaScript patterns, so that's definitely a plus for this. And also these 10 projects, which is so amazing. Let's see, here's the included projects. The task list, DOM and LS, loan calculator, number guessing game, book manager, easy HTTP library, GitHub finder. So once again, uh, you know, this is really fun because I don't see too many 
of these large kind of boot camp uh, apps or, or courses really deep dive into as much stuff as this does. And you're actually now building 10 projects. That's really cool. Some of them are literally just a couple of lessons and some of them are full sections, by the way. Weather app, weather underground app, API track Cali. Also, I haven't seen this too often, CRUD app with ES6 modules. So he uses a Webpack starter pack to kind of get started. And it's kind of neat that he uses Webpack as a part of the of the course curriculum and as part of the included project so it kind of gives you an idea of 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 creating a project not from scratch but just a little bit of how you would put together a project using like a starter pack and then kind of mini projects a chuck norris joke generator profile scroller and state pattern interface and one thing you'll notice uh you know, here's the other skills i mentioned before but one thing you'll notice in brad's courses is he really has a great way of breaking down complex problems into smaller pieces. He's very methodical. He explains it in a way that beginners can understand very easily. That's one of the reasons he's his YouTube channel has done so well because he just is able to kind of break these things down to make a lot of sense. So that's definitely a, a big plus for taking a Brad Traversy uh, project and uh, course that is. So that's the first section is just kind of what to expect, your project files, your GitHub repo, and your visual code, st code setup. The second is the JavaScript language fundamentals. So in this, in this section, you're going over, well, first how you set up your file and set up to have all these resources. And then kind of the basics of like, what's var, let, and const? This is actually a perfect question that you might see on interviews. So this has some crossover from that too type conversion, numbers and math object, template literals, object literals, state and times. And I think I already mentioned this once, but he also does this all from the perspective of ES6. I mean, he does go over uh, var, let and const, but he really tries to make sure it's modern JavaScript. Dates and times, switches, functions, declarations, expressions, general loops, the windows object, block scope. That's good. He mentions the window object. Sometimes that's not always added into these different uh, courses, DOM manipulation events. What is a DOM? You know, perfect example. If you're trying to learn web development, you need to know what the DOM is, and that's a great section and great learning. Bringing this in very early into the course. So explaining what the DOM and DOM selectors. Obviously, that's very important. Event listeners, mouse events, bubbling and delegation. This is a really good thing to learn uh, how 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 bubbling works with JavaScript. And then once and then right away in section four, we have the, our first. I think this is our first project. So UI, add task items, delete and filter tasks. So you're creating this loan calculator and then a task list first and then a loan calculator and a number guesser is the third one. Yeah, so here's like three projects right here where you jump in right away. Let's see if we can click on one of them. I, like I said, I can't play the video, but maybe we can kind of, yeah, you can see here's the number guesser. So these are really basic projects, but it's gonna teach you a lot. You see, you see he's doing all the query selectors there. It's really basics you should know to to start off with. And doing these small little projects will teach you web development. Here's the Babel and Webpack environment setup is uh, he actually uses Webpack, which is really cool. This is, did I jump up? So that's section four is the DOM projects. And then this, this one is part of the DOM and Webpack, which is uh, it's number 13, section 13. I kind of jumped ahead there. Uh, so after you do this basic projects, you go into OOP, ES, ES5 in 2015. So the keyword this, built-in constructors, prototype, prototypical inheritance, I'm assuming. Yep, there, right there. And then ES6 classes. This is really a good dichotomy when you're trying to figure out JavaScript and going a little bit deeper is like, what's the differences between learning ES6 classes versus um, prototypical inheritance? I think classes are much easier to understand, but I know that um, that's just a wrapper for the, the typical prototypical inheritance. So it's good to know and, and see what those differences are. He even goes into subclasses and then he goes into OOP book listing and then asynchronous Ajax and fetch API. Fetch API is obviously built into JavaScript, so why not use it? So he kind of explains how it works there. Here's the fetch API, ES6 promises, API projects. So here's where you get into the GitHub finder. Let's take a look real quickly, kind of give a little quick right, guys, sample sorry. of what that might look like. Okay, so like you can search usernames to fetch a user profile and then display it. Look, you can see public repos, public gists, followers following, and you can see it's, this is all done through plain JavaScript. We're not using a framework. 
You can see here he's using div.class name to assign classes, appending the child. So we're using, using the document manipul uh, the document DOM manipulation. Insert before, there's probably a query selector there. So that's really cool. Even hair handling. So try catch, and um, then another project, regular expression project here. Just nice to do see a regular expression project. And then he even has a like uh, an extra section for like ES 2015 plus. So every year there's like new stuff coming out in the ES 6 spec. So he goes into like iterators, he even has a little, a little project, then what symbols, destructuring, ES 6 maps, sets. And then uh, this is kind of the section that I thought also really helped define it to be different than a lot of the other JavaScript projects out there is that he goes into patterns. So what's the module pattern? What's the singleton pattern? So there's a lot of uh, patterns out there. If you can, you, you could probably even go all the way back to uh, the Gang of Four, which they wrote this uh, book called Design Patterns, which are these patterns that we use in software development and you can actually use them in JavaScript. And there was even a book called JavaScript Patterns by Adi Osmani that came out that also kind of explained a lot of these patterns. And that's cool that he has a section on it, like factory and observer and mediator. This is something you might be using in your everyday job, or you might even be asked about this during a coding interview, like name your favorite uh, pattern and how you used it in the past. Usually factory is one of those ones that you hear all the time. Then here's the, the calorie project. So this is like probably get items, you gotta add calories, delete calories. And then here's the webpack and one I was talking about earlier that I accidentally skipped ahead for. So you can, uh, you have this webpack environment set up and then he creates a project from it. And then there's a wrap up. So that's pretty much it. I like this if you go in Q and A right now, there's someone that's asking, this course has changed my life. I've learned so much and have my understanding many. So you can see people love this course, you know, obviously, if you guys are interested in, in, in upping up your JavaScript game and you even want to learn something about patterns, make sure you check this out, pick it up, make sure you live, use the link in the description. Uh, but what more can I say? I mean, it's it's probably one of the best courses that Brad has created. I mean, he's been and he's created a lot of really great courses. So yeah, check it out.